Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you very much for coming. Alan Boxer was a man of great taste. Um, he chose very, very carefully, um, and in the best way, he was obsessive about collecting. The best collectors are the obsessive ones, um, because they have to have that work of art no matter what it takes. Um, and what is interesting about the history of a good number of the works that you see on these walls is that before he came to Canberra in 1975 to take up a senior post with Treasury, he was a lecturer and eventually a reader in economics um, at the University of Melbourne, a very brilliant economist, in fact. Uh, but right from his early days, after he graduated, he used to go down particularly to the Australian galleries um, in Melbourne, uh, run by the Purvises, the, one of the first really serious commercial galleries which promoted the careers of those great mid-century Australian artists, Boyd, Nolan, Percival Tucker, uh, who were also strongly represented here. And he would see things that he liked, and it's my understanding that he needed to pay things off, um, put a deposit down, and over time, um, these works would, would become his. And I really like stories like that, where you know that someone loved um, the works that they collected. I don't think that until now, the personality of Alan Boxer as a collector, as a connoisseur, um, as, as someone who was a great friend of the National Gallery of Australia, because when he retired, we have this fabulous group of um, very highly trained, skilled and knowledgeable um, supporters and volunteers, the voluntary guides, and they take visitors around the collections of the NGA and explain things to them, and Alan became one of those voluntary guides. So he knew our collection really well, and he understood the contribution that these works would make um, to the National Collection. This fantastic Olsen uh, behind me, there are two John Olsons in the collection. Over there on the far wall, of course, we have one of Charles Blackman's Alice in Wonderland series. Uh, that's the first one from this highly important uh, series of the mid-1950s to enter the National Collection, so it's really a major thing for us. We've got the parrots, the, the gamblers with parrots, um, over there on the back wall. Um, I understand that was the first major work that he acquired um, in the early 1960s. This is the work of, of 1960, and it's a terrific picture. And, of course, we have what we might call Tucker's the Antipodean head, where this, these craggy heads that look something somewhere between a Mallee root and a kind of weathered piece of rock, which he felt were very Australian. And we've got, the, of course, the, 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 the Percival Williamstown painting. And I have always thought, um, as an art historian, that... 1956 and the Williamstown series um, for Percival are his best quintessential works and we have a fantastic example of it over there. There are a couple of interesting works here that by artists who are not so well known. The Stanislaus Rapotek over here in the corner, um, this wonderful abstract which is a detail of it it's on the cover of the book that we've produced. He is a really important artist, a major figure in the development of abstraction in this country, but perhaps he hasn't quite had the profile um, and the attention that he deserves. So again, bringing this work into the collection um, is a very positive and, and powerful thing um, in terms of his reputation. And the last one, there's a Robert Hughes painting over there. How many of you knew that Robert Hughes started off as a painter and um, that he had these, these, these dual, dual careers? This is a work of the early uh, 1960s. So it, it, again, a very good thing for the National Collection to have. And look, I suppose my concluding remark is this, the, 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 they'll be here forever. And forever, we'll be able to celebrate Alan Boxer um, as someone who was a connoisseur, as I've said, a very astute collector, but who wanted to give something back to the public, to the people of Australia. My name's Christian Pithy. Um, I'm the co-executor of Alan Boxer's estate and also um, a close friend of Alan's. Alan was uh, a very humble man and he was a man of modest means. He had a suburban house in Witangaroo, which he curated expertly in his own way. I had the opportunity to visit Alan's house on many occasions and every time was like a, a trip to the National Gallery. He would take me on a guided tour and always tell me different stories about the works. He was someone who was deeply passionate about art and deeply passionate about the work and about the artists that he collected. He collected in depth, he didn't always just collect one masterwork, in this case 19 masterpieces that have come to the National Gallery. He loved. Uh, moving the paintings around. I would often help him, certainly with the heavier works, I would help him rehang works. He would rest them. <laughs> I, I'm sure the uh, conservators of the National Gallery would, would be quaking in their boots if they knew where some of the paintings <laughs> were held. But now they've found a, a, another great home to live in and uh, in perpetuity as well for the nation to enjoy and for generations to come. It's a, it's a great lasting legacy. 
um, and we should all remember the name of Alan Boxer.